Don't know if that's going to happen here, but hopefully not. Seem to be having pretty good luck with my recordings lately. Oh, dude, there's cannons on this one. That sucks, because... Yeah, I can't actually destroy cannons right now, but later on, you're going to be able to destroy cannons. I'm not going to say exactly how, even though it's kind of obvious. But, yeah, uh, and on most platforms, there are going to be cannons that you need to destroy if you want to get all the treasure there. So that's going to be kind of annoying. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, you can actually, like, bring up a little bit of a mini-map of the platform here. And I think there is some way that you can, uh, see where all the treasure chests are on the platform. Like, if there's one that you missed. Can you, like, zoom in on that? Uh, yeah, okay, so you press, like, right on the control pad and you can see, like, treasure chests here. Like, see, there's still one here. But I can't get it because I have- I don't have the means of destroying the cannons. So that's what that means. I actually didn't know about that little, like, platform mini-map down there until very recently. Oh, now it's nighttime though. In a kitchen just No, I just did that, dude. You can't just do that again. You can't do the house hippo bit twice in a row. Two times in a row, man. And we're off sailing again. Is it still going south? Because if it is, I'm pfft, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, oh, one little thing is that uh you need to set the wind to south to actually get in the boat, but once you're in the boat, you can change the direction of the wind. But you still can't really sail anywhere at this point because they haven't given you free reign yet. You can go back to Windfall, I guess, or Pauper and Tile. But there's no, really not much that you can do there now that you couldn't before. Maybe if you were to grind up some Joy Pendants, you could do something there from the first dungeon. And there actually is something in Pauper and Isle that you can do with the Grappling Hook. But I think you only get like 20 Rupees or so for it. Oh, man, I love this little Rupee minigame here. Even though I'm full on rupees, it's just fun to do, you know? It's a nice diversion. Uh, ooh, look at this. There's a big glowing thing coming out of the sea here. It's like a giant erect spire coming out of the ocean. I don't know if I want to get this right now, but I think I will, just because. Because, um... Alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's so much to explain here, geez. With the sailing and everything. Alright, so what do you want to do when you see this is actually bring up your sea charts or your treasure charts, and look around. Like, see, here is the one that we're at right now, because you can see my little arrow on the treasure chart map there. And that's what, that's, like, those spires of light that come out of the ocean. That's how you know that there's a treasure chart there, or a treasure there, or whatever. A TCT. So it looks like we're gonna have to turn, like, this way, is that right? Yes, and then we're just gonna have to cruise a little bit forward in order to get this treasure. And these big treasures from the treasure charts, they're, all, they're always going to be either uh, a silver rupee, which is worth 200, or a heart piece. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but um, I figure I might as well get it just to show it off. If it is 200 rupees and I just completely waste it, well that just sucks now, doesn't it? Alright, here we go. We got it! Let's see what we got, man. Oh dude, look at those guys in the background. Ugh, little submarine guys, the Oompa Loompas, they're still watching us. Watching up dig our take up our very first treasure. It's like watching your kid take his first steps, you know. And what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a silver rupee. One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. Yelp. <laughs> oh, there's something I've always wanted to do. Like, even before I started doing this Let's Play. And I don't know, I might put it in there. If I did put it in there, then I just completely ruined the thing by saying that, because... Like, you know, you should just do it spontaneously. Where no one can expect it. Of course, no one will expect it, but... It'll just be expl- oh, just shut up about it. <sighs> but the thing is, if I don't put it in, then you guys are just gonna be like, What the hell are you talking about, you nut? Uh, this- Like, uh, the closing and opening spiel from these mermen is the same every time. The only thing that really varies is the... Information about the actual island. This is Eastern Triangle Island. So we can assume that there's going to be multiple triangle islands. What are they used for exactly, though? Who knows? Damn it, small fry. Have you ever caught a fairy before? I think I've already... <laughs> I think I already changed this guy's voice just in between these two squares here. Because from what I've been told, when, you, when you're when you beaten to, when you're beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think that you finally met your match. If you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying, around fairies, for carrying fairies around with you, small fry? Oh, we've gone over this, man. If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. And that's all the info I've got to offer. 
If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw me some bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting Eve on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off! Oh, everyone's off in this episode. Like, we're off to the ocean, and he's off. Beetle here is off. I'm not going to let you abduct me again, Beetle. That was scary. Oh, yeah, so he was talking about fairies there. But like I've stated previously in, like, other Zelda games, I don't really like using fairies that much. I think it makes the game a bit too easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, if, you, if you've used them, then good on you. There's several times that I wish I had a fairy, but... That's the name of the game, man. If you choose not to go with it, then that's your loss. No one to blame but yourself, you know. Alright. Wow, there was not much distance between these two islands at all. Yeah, these islands actually look really far apart. Like, it looks like a pretty long ways to that next island out there, which is actually our destination island, if you look on the sea chart. But there's really not much to, uh... There's not much distance to bridge between the two islands. Usually, anyways. Or Bomb Island. I could have boarded onto, like, Eastern Triangle Island, but there was nothing to do there anyways. Uh, oh, well, look. We already got mail. You've got mail. Good evening! Letters for Argon, we have one letter. Here is your letter. Dude, don't spit at me. Ew. To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This, this isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request that you continue your kindness towards my son. Kashiko, Beto's mother. Oh, dude, Beto, yeah, he's that guy that was, uh, he's the intern at the mail place. But we get a piece of heart for it, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Can't believe she said that's, like, not much. That's, like, the best thing you could possibly give me. Oh, I don't think there's much for me to do on Balm Island here right now. That's what this place is called. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I can't move that boulder right now. Not with my puny little hands. Dude, what are you doing? Uh, oh wait, there's the there's the fish. Oh man, wouldn't that be awesome if I could like spread bait from here and get him to eat it and like get the ch sea chart information without actually being on my boat? I wonder if anyone's actually done that ever, like gotten the information from the fish without being on the boat. I imagine that'd be pretty hard. Dude, oh my god, <laughs> it's the venomous tentacula. It's trying to stop me from getting over there to seize whatever treasure may be had. I think there's actually a blue chew over there too. Oh wait, uh I think I'm talking over the morning theme here, but it's a nice little song. Nice little ditty. And then Oh yeah, that only happens if you're out at sea, yeah. Normally after that little morning jingle, it'll uh it'll transcend into this really epic this this ocean theme right here, but the transition itself is more epic than the ocean theme. It's really cool. I got plenty of opportunities to let you guys hear that, though. No worries there. <sighs> Can we get over to this fish? I am going, like, directly against the wind, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it's taking so long, but... There we go. Come on, Mr. Merman. Wait a second, Mr. Merman. Oh, boy. Dude, the lighting is really weird with this gray ocean. Uh, bomb Island! It even looks like a bomb! Look at that. I wonder what we gotta use there. Oh, jeez. You ought to come sail these nights on... Uh, sail these seas on nights where the right half the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, fry. But that's it? <laughs> okay. I doubt I'm gonna remember that, but if I do, well, that's amazing. But I won't, trust me. Right, but that other fish that was just one square north of here, remember he said that there's a submarine one square south. And I think that that's it over there. Let's get our telescope just to make sure. Because you never know with these things. Uh, get out of the way, wave. Yup, that's a submarine by my eye. And there's a Boko Blin on that platform, too. But whenever I see a Boko Blin, I just see joy pendants, so that's not bad at all. There's also a platform over there that we're going to have to tackle. Oh man, so many things to do. So many little wooden ornaments out on the sea. It's kind of fun. It's pretty much one of the things that makes this game totally fun. It's just like, even though sailing itself... Dude, I didn't even get a joy pendant from him. What was I thinking? Even though sailing itself, itself does get very tedious at times, especially when you have to sail like from one side of the sea to the other. 
Usually there are lots of things to do, unless you've already done those things, I guess, then it wouldn't be that much fun. But I don't know, st still sometimes, like, even when I get the, uh, thing that allows you to kind of bypass sailing, you don't get to totally bypass sailing, of course, but... Dude, let me get my rupees! Oh, whatever. There's plenty of rupees in this game, so it doesn't matter if the rats steal a few, I guess. I was trying to get some joy pendants from these guys, though. Uh, didn't even luck out, and they did like they didn't even drop any. Not one. <laughs> Look at that guy running over there with my like yellow rupee. Then you just put it down. Yeah, you better put that down. You saw my big gleaming sword, didn't you? Dude, these guys are going crazy with rupees. <laughs> oh whoa! <laughs> I thought you were a rat for a second, bud. And I'm like, man, that's one ugly rat. Alright, dude, oh, oh, I don't actually have to kill the rats, okay. Well, that's actually pretty good. What reward are we gonna get here, though? Well, it's very useful, it's a bottle! But more importantly, you got a bottle! Bottles are great for carrying water, yeah. Like the guy said, you can use them to hold fairies, too, but... I'm telling you right now, there's only about one instance in this game where I'm gonna have a fairy in a bottle. And that's not even for my purposes, it's for uh, something else that I don't really want to say. Because you know that's spoilers, and nobody likes a good, bad spoiler. Mm. Alright, dude, why are there, like, there's just, like, one rupee, there's a rupee and two hearts just randomly floating here. Did the pods not spawn on this island? That's weird. Don't fall in the water, please. Let me get, let me get your joy pendant. Dude, let me get it. Thank you. Okay, now you can fall in the water. Or you can just stay on and fight to the death for all I care. Oh, I think he did both there. I think I killed him and he fell. His corpse landed in the water. How very savage. Alright, let's go, Mr. Kingly Red Lion guy. Let's see what that platform's all about up there. Oh, sorry if I'm taking, like, super long to get, the, to, take, to get to the next destination. Jeez, this, like, little sailing bit here might take two videos in and of itself, but... In fact, it probably will. I don't know, we might get to it in this video. If this is, the, in fact, the second video of the recording, which it might not be. Who knows? That's one thing that I've been kind of thinking about lately, actually, is like, uh... I know this is just kind of tangentially connected to what I was just talking about. Dude, I need to remember to get these joy pins, I tell you. Because you're gonna, you're gonna need a lot of them, like I said. But, um, I've been thinking, like... Something about LPing has changed drastically in just the style of LP with the increase in time limit from like first it was from 11 minutes to 15 minutes and then shortly after that it was from 15 minutes to infinite minutes as long as you have like the file size and our walls full again look at that already it's crazy can I got can I not get the mini map on this platform oh well oh yeah I don't know something like just something really subtle, but something that was kind of magical about LP and has just disappeared ever since we switched to the 15 minute time limit. I don't know if that's just me or not, like something about LP was so much more just on the edge and cool when we ha when you had that restriction, like, okay, I gotta stop before I actually exceed this. So you gotta cut some kind of limit. I don't know. Maybe that's just because just I like Majora's Mask, where you always have a time limit. I don't know, maybe that's just me being crazy, I'm just, like, thinking way too hard about this or something. It's not something to lose sleep about, definitely, but... It's something worth thinking about, like, what could that possibly be? I urge you to debate this in the comments. Though, no one probably will. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Argon. The Forest Haven. Ooh, and I love this music, man, I tell you. Ah. Oh. I haven't actually heard this... ZREO remix of this. I should listen to that if there is one. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. What, he's still alive? Jeez, man. Well, he died in Ocarina of Time, but you must speak with the Deku tree and receive him from him the sacred gem known as Faror's Pearl. I think I see where this is going. I feel that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Argon. And take this. Da, 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 da. All right. 